are you doing? I am sorting through some childhood items here. I'm trying to decide between things to save and display, or things to sell, or things to save for future children. And I think I've decided the entire wrestling figure collection is going to be sold. We should kind of lay out the wrestling figures and take a picture and send it to someone really quick, because I know someone that might buy it. Alright, for the Funkos, we've got, I don't know if these are, are these the first Funko Turtles? Yeah. Okay. So we've got the first series of Funko Turtles here. We've got the new retro, or the movie versions, with Casey and Metalhead also. Classic collection Raphael from The Secret of the Use. The Raph from the TMT, TMNT. The Raph from the 2003 cartoon series. And the Nickelodeon Raph. Yeah, I just got the Leo version of that one today. Have you opened it? Or you don't have an open one? No. I, I brought mine in the car so you could see they're like... You'll see. My. Is this 25th? Uh, yeah. 25th. Or. Is it 25th? Yeah. Mm. This one is. This one's the 25th re release of the standard 88 figure. The plush from I don't know when, late 80s, early 90s. This is the same one I've always had. This might be. This is probably the oldest piece that I've had continuously. This from the other day. Very well packaged. Military. Crack the Green Team Beret. Unpunched. Very slightly yellowing of the card, but the background kind of and the accessories really make it even difficult to tell that's what it is. Brand new Eastman Laird Turtle Figures. main goal for tomorrow is to hopefully sell some of these things that I really just don't need anymore and consolidate just the collection of things that I still own. Um, really just kind of focusing on things that I still want to have and hopefully the things that I don't need anymore will go eventually to somebody who would really appreciate having them. It made me wonder if they're going to look at it while you're standing there. If they're going to go piece by piece, or like you said, maybe just kind of give you a, you know, it's so much for a box. A Power Ranger. From a series I didn't watch. And easy. I think that was just like a random gift. Just because it was Batman, somebody got it for me. That's a complete... Combiners Transformer. There are four of them. All four of them are in there. I have no idea how it works over there, but I'm just thinking they're going to have to give money for stuff that they hope to sell. Yeah. But if they know you want something, like in my head, I'd be like, well, just come up with what you want and we'll figure out the difference. The difference in trade. Yeah. So I was trying to think of that strategically, too. If they know that I'm going to turn around and take more stuff from them, would they value my things more because, or would they value them less because 
it would be getting like double payment. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just a bunch of starting lineups. It's all garbage. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I mean, the, well, wrestling's really strong for us, so anything wrestling, I didn't even have to look at the characters. It doesn't matter. It's just wrestling sells here. Uh, there were some modern Transformers. You know, some are here, some of the trans metals. So these are good. Uh, so it was really the wrestling and Transformers. I mean, the Superman, the DC stuff's not as strong as it could be. Marvel's a little bit stronger right now. And then there's a Buzz Lightyear, and people always ask for that, and I never have it, so that's good. But yeah, no, it's good stuff. They have two options. They have trade-in or cash-out. So the trade-in value is $500, or the cash-out would be 350 And for what I brought in, I think that's, that's pretty fair. It's really good. If I do all trade-in, everything I've added up so far means I could get the boxed turtle van and still have a few more dollars to spare. But the decision would be to, want to open a box just to display it or get the one that's already open. Mighty Morphin Red Ranger Pop. Trade in for this because I have a cool yin yang shirt. <laughs> Take advantage of the trade in value and go ahead and get a few extra good things. Yeah, just all the pins and they do exclusive. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that one's for sale anymore. No. <laughs> I'm just going to warn you, mm -hmm. they, the movie ones you probably remember, they have rubber legs, yeah. hard to stand. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? So what I ended up doing is using mostly of the store credit uh, method in trade-in really is uh, this skater raft, which I liked the Yin Yang shirt. It's movie star raft. Mighty Morphin Red Ranger Funko. 8-bit Raphael Funko. A nice Ghostbusters poster magnet. <laughs> A modern Lieutenant Falcon. This should complete my Lieutenant Falcon set. A party wagon in box. This is classic re-release, but that doesn't really bother me. It's pretty much the exact same thing as far as I know. And then the NECA, Raph and Casey. I think it worked out really well. I think they were really fair on the pricing. And like I mentioned, hopefully those things that I weren't really wanting to you know, hold on to any longer will end up going to somebody uh, who will appreciate them. And I gave the guys my list because I'm trying to collect all the Leonardo's made between 88 and 97. So he's going to start working on that list for me. Um, he's even got one already that I might be able to get next week. So pretty excited about that. I want a cheap skate. Um, there might be a couple more rafts I need to look at and make a decision on. I definitely want a carded true 88 raft. That's for sure. So we'll keep looking.